don't even along is because the science committee at ESU had to send two people, but I was their first choice. And I'm just chopped liver. It's a great honor for NASA to invite us to view the landing of the first Mars probe, and I intend to make the most of it. So just stay out of my way, Buster. Explorer 1 has re-entered the atmosphere, and she's right on target. Oh, great. We got here just in time. We're picking up an image on the TV scanner. Look, there it is. Uh, exactly where is it supposed to land? Oh, Peter Parker, don't be such a pest. Be a good boy and go take some pictures or something. Why don't you be a good boy and go take some pictures? Who does she think she is? Up there! Careful, that Mars soil sample is highly radioactive. Boy, that's got to be the most important hunk of dirt on Earth. is perfect, but no one can forecast the coming of the Sandman. I'll bet he didn't forecast the coming of Spider-Man either. This is what I came for. Okay, hold it. You're under military arrest. <laughs> Don't waste your time. You'd have a better chance trying to stop a hurricane with a fly spotter. Swatter, you stuck with me. Spider-Man. Who'd you expect, the Hulk? And speaking of fly swatters, that gives me one heck of an idea. Strike one, web swinger. Go on back to the minor leagues where you belong. <laughs> it's times like this. I feel like I'm all washed up. Can't somebody stop him? Oh, where's that worthless Peter Parker? Why isn't he doing something? I'm sure he's doing everything he can. Quick, turn your radar to full power. Hmm, everybody thinks he's a general. These high-frequency microwaves ought to blow the Sandman back into harmless dust. Give it up, Spider-Man. Your childish efforts can't hurt me. Let's hear it for my childish efforts. You overconfident fool, you're beginning to bore me. Well, well, looks like Spider-Man just lost his head. Oh, no, just my luck. Without my mask, I don't dare fight. Look at him, running like a scared insect. Uh, now to finish what I came here for. He's opening the canister. I absorb this Martian soil, I'll be ten times as powerful as I am now. Done. Now nothing can stop me, not even that meddlesome web slinger. Boy, did I take a wrong turn. These Everglades are getting spookier and spookier. Get that sinking feeling? And people call New York a jungle? Web shooters, don't fail me now. Uh -huh. Well, that leaves me one choice. to dinner as the main course. I've got one chance. If 
I can get this blasted web shooter to work. Come on. Do it now. Never tear up a paper bag again. Can't afford any more slip-ups. I'm down to my last Spidey suit. You, Peter, is that you? I didn't hear you come in. Aunt May, coming. wonder how you managed to sneak in the way you do. How was Florida? Oh, great. That's nice. I came up to tell you it's chilly outside, and I want you to wear a sweater. But, uh, Aunt May, uh... uh... Just be a good boy. You know how easily you catch cold. Uh, right, Aunt May. Uh, thanks for reminding me. That's a good boy. Now I won't worry so much about you, dear. This telegram just derived for you. Better read it, dear. It looks important. To Peter Parker, you are requested to attend a disciplinary meeting this afternoon at 4 p.m. Failure to attend will mean immediate dismissal from school. Sign the school board. Oh, no. Four o'clock. The only way I'll ever make it in time is by the Web Express. Nice of you to remember, but you can call me Spidey. Can't you get it through your thick skull web brain? I'm invincible. Nothing you do can stop me. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this, dust breath. But you'll leave me no choice. Hey, what's happening? I feel so weak and dizzy. That's the idea, Webhead. Thanks to the radioactivity I absorbed from that Martian soil. Ah, even a spider would get a shock from a million volts of electricity. So long, Webhead, and I do mean so long. Can't activate my web shooter. Too weak. Too weak. Get the 
on top of this spare cartridge of web fluid. I think my web fluid's rubber-based. Otherwise, I'd have gotten quite a jolt up there. I'll say there's a million volts in that line. Well, thanks again. I guess I've lost the Sandman. But maybe there's still time to get to the school board meeting before I get kicked out of college. Yikes. I've only got 15 minutes to make it across town. Attention! Attention all units! Sandman has just been spotted at Broadway and Maine! One of these days I'm gonna wise up and chase girls instead of crooks. Trapped in a dead end. But that's no problem for the Sandman. And some money? Look, it's Spider-Man and he's got the loot. He must be in cahoots for the Sandman. Hey, that's a fine way to talk about your friendly neighborhood web slinger. Come on now, Spider-Man. I just want to ask you a few questions. <laughs> Keep the change, boys. Sandman escaped through a subway grating. Maybe I can still catch him. Doesn't make sense. He's got to be here somewhere. I am, stupid. You're standing on me. Huh? I can't move. Naturally, you forgot I can make my body hard as stone. It was fun while it lasted, Webhead, but for you, the party's over for good. There. That ought to keep you nice and till the next train comes along. <laughs> that does it. I'm canceling my membership in the Sandman fan club. This blasted city needs more taxis. Imagine me, G. Jordan Jameson, publisher of the Daily Bugle, having to take a subway. Help! Anybody! Huh? Sounds like someone's in trouble. Oh, no. Just my luck. The one guy to hear me is old Hatchet Face. All right, Spider-Man. What kind of sneaky trick you up to now? Uh, hiya, neighbor. I, uh, wonder if you could spare a helping hand? Well, whatever your plan is, I'm getting a picture of it for the bugle. No, oh, no. Only Jameson would think I was doing this on purpose. Sandman! The one and only! Oh! 
Gotta get my closet door shut before Aunt May finds my extra Spidey suit. It stays just to make me wish I'd stayed in bed. Hi, yes, Sandy. This is a private bus, or can anybody ride? But, but, but you're dead. As the man once said, reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Well, this time they'll come true. I think I led you into the cement mixer. I'll leave you and the gold for the police to deal with. I'm already late for a very important date. Excuse me, this will only take a minute. There, the priceless Martian soil travel is safe again. Now to try and get Peter Parker back into school. Now, Miss Beaumont, you say that when Sandman and Spider-Man showed up, Peter Parker disappeared and left you totally helpless? Why, yes, indeedy. He just left me completely helpless. That's a very serious charge. And since Mr. Parker evidently refuses to defend himself, I'm afraid I can only rule that... Spider-Man! Excuse me for busting in on your party like this, but Peter Parker has been unavoidably detained and asked me to drop off the Martian soil sample which he helped me save. Peter Parker helped you, Spider-Man? Now, don't y'all listen to him. Peter Parker is nothing but a big coward. And Peter asked me to give you these, too. Hmm. Thank you, Spider-Man. Based on this evidence, all charges against Peter Parker are dropped. But as for you, Miss Beaumont... Locking my closet door before Aunt May peeks in. Oh, my. Peter left his closet door unlocked. I've always wondered. What? What in the world? Uh, what's wrong, Aunt May? Peter, I don't believe it. You're not friends with that awful Spider-Man, are you? Perish the thought. May I just couldn't decide which outfit to wear to the school costume party next week. Mercy sakes, 
You had me worried. Oh, where are the Hulk suit, dear? He's much more attractive. <laughs> <laughs>